is one of the busiest travel weeks of the year, even during the pandemic. If you're flying somewhere for Thanksgiving, you may be seeing changes at the airport. 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is live at GSP International with what to expect. Good morning, Christine. You sure will. Yeah, Fred, good morning. A lot more people wearing masks, that's for sure. If this is the one time of year you fly, you might not have seen them last Thanksgiving. Well, this is recommended by the CDC and GSP, of course, recommends you have that mask on as well. Stay about six feet apart. There are plenty of different stickers on the floor, signage throughout the airport. You'll see a lot of that. You will see more hand sanitizing stations. You can see one right there to my right. Those are located all across check-in, all across security. Michelle from GSP here to tell us more. There's a couple of new things as you do go through security. Check-in, I see plexiglass in the back there. That's going to be a check-in too, or um, uh, security as well. Absolutely. Security, our information booth, anywhere where we can cut down on those touch points where you have with an airline or an airport staffer. We've tried to be as proactive as possible to keep everybody safe and keep you flying. Like you said, if it's been a while since you've been on an airplane like it has for most of us. Um, you're going to notice differences throughout the airport, but some of the things like our consistent cleaning will be the same. We've just stepped up the, the number of cleanings that we do. We've always been very proud of our airport and keep it sparkling uh, regardless of what's happening outside these doors. Um, so that's definitely the case now, and we're just looking forward to welcoming everybody as they get ready for Thanksgiving travel. Really encouraged to hear that with the ID, you used to walk up to a checkpoint and hey, you'd hand that ID to a TSA official. They would scan it, touch it at least, and they'd look over it. Now, touchless means less interaction, hopefully less germ transfer too. It does. This is um, some really great technology. It's been in the works for a while, but they've rolled it out even faster due to COVID-19. <laughs> Um, so you scan your ID yourself in this new machine at the TSA security checkpoint. It's connected to your boarding pass, so you don't have to have an additional document. They check your ID and you're through the security checkpoint before you know it. Um, but we do encourage people to leave plenty of time though with the new technology and with these social distancing stickers. That line can get a little spaced out, so we recommend a solid two hours to get through the gate and to your plane in plenty of time. Parking is going to be helpful as well. Garages A and B as well as economy lot B, they'll be available for you. Cell phone lot always if you're picking up somebody. And guys, I got to tell you one more exciting thing. 12 ounces of hand sanitizer now allowed to go with you to your destination. So that 3.4 is still a regulation for all other liquids. But guys, sanitizer in bulk, you can take it with you, 12 ounces. There is an agent at security checkpoints to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions, we'll send it back to you. Making those adjustments. Thank you, Christine. And health experts encourage holiday travelers to get tested for COVID-19. Before your trip, we've got a full list of testing sites on WSP.